Hi guys, my name is Kiva and this is DIY with KB. So today we are doing like 10 projects in one. So today I am not only building this buffet that you can't see behind me because I'm sitting directly in front of it, but I'm also showing you one, how to stretch a canvas, how to do this artwork, and how to style your buffet or sideboard or credenza in a modern way. That's what we're doing today. Something else we're doing today is giving you raw, authentic, transparent, those are all synonyms, but whatever, you get my point. I'm showing you the reality of DIY. So this DIY project for me, it, it was a trip. If you follow me on Instagram, which is kiva.bren, you'd know that I tried cutting a single piece of wood, like literally step one of this project, like 10 times. I got a circular saw, I got a hand saw, I got a different saw, they all didn't work, and at the end of the day, I had to phone a friend, and by phone a friend, I mean go to the hardware store and ask some old guy to cut it for me. Um, but it, it was a doozy, and I wasn't feeling motivated. And one of you on um, Instagram DM me were like, "You got you never show your mistakes." So today, I'm showing you all the mistakes. You're getting real talk. But before we get into today's video, I just want to say, if you like my content, please remember to like it, subscribe to my channel, and check me out on Instagram at kiva.brent. Also, if you're interested in buying any of the things here, I will be sure to link them down below and the things that aren't linked will be in my Amazon storefront. But let's get into today's video. So like I said in the intro, um, I had a really hard time with this project, so I'm gonna edit out a lot of audio because it's honestly just me grunting and being frustrated. But I got these two cabinets actually from Lowe's a while back when I was doing my office project. I didn't end up putting these built-ins in my office because I do not use my office. We made that whole video, which I'd love it if you watched, but um, I have not really been in there since except for a few times, so a waste of time. Um, but we had these cabinets left over and I'd already stained it, so I couldn't return it. I donated one of them, but I still had these left over, so I wanted to see how I could repurpose them. So the idea was to take the two, nail them together and make like a sideboard and then frame it out with wood or whatever. So that's what I'm doing here. I am nailing the two pieces together and as you can see, um, since there is not a top on them, there's a lot of space for me to put in nails. I didn't want to put in nails through the inside of the cabinet because I need long nails obviously to go through but I don't want it to poke through and you hurt your hands or something like that. So I did it on the top and the bottom and that's it. It's super sturdy. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think I used one and a quarter, um, one and a half inch nails. Um, I actually use screws and then I just put it in with my drill. So all of that went super smoothly. I was on top of the world. I said, I got this Kiva. I'm gonna do this in a second. I am, I am the queen of DIY and then reality, I got a nice reality check. Um, so I tried to cut the panel that I wanted to put on top to create like the top surface. Um, I couldn't find the blade for my saw. So then I went to the hardware store and I bought a new saw and a battery pack thinking that the saw came with a battery. Excuse me for expecting something I'm buying to be able to turn on. So then once I got home and discovered that, I went back to the hardware store, then got the actual battery. I charged the battery with the battery pack that I already purchased. Now I'd already spent like $200 on tools that I needed for one thing, so I was getting pretty frustrated. And then the saw, once it was turned on, was actually already broken. I guess somebody returned it broken and I just happened to buy that one, so I was over it. So I returned it all and this had been like four hours now. I just <laughs> wasted an entire day. So then I said, okay, Kiva, let's get a handsaw to cut it. So I get the handsaw, I said, yes, I got this. You know, that was a minor setback. Don't let it discourage you. The second I start sawing, the wood just splits. So I'm like, okay. So I just <laughs> wasted all this time and this money. What am I gonna do? So what I finally did, I gave in. I went to the hardware store and I said, please, can you cut this for me? Because I need to finish this project. And luckily I found some guy just sitting around on his phone board and he was happy to cut it for me. So what I ended up doing is I got some plywood. I think it was like uh, 48 inches by eight feet. I had them cut it at the store and then I just brought it home and I cut it down to size a little bit better just using my Ryobi miter saw. I'm sorry I forgot to link the saw in the last video, but I will here. Um, I was able to cut it, it just required me to like flip it over halfway through, um, and that was it. So then I ended up putting a panel on the top and the sides, I attached it with liquid nails, and that was it. Hey you guys, so it's the next day, the liquid nails did its trick. We are solid as a rock here. So this is what it looks like. Step number a million is to stain. Wayner, he says he's gonna do it. He says that he is gonna do it. So I'm actually pretty free today. I have some client meetings, but Winner, Winner really has everything taken care of. I'll uh, stay there for you, honey. Thanks, honey. 
Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm happy to have the wood. We probably should have flipped it over and not used this side, but I have wood filler because I have a closet full of every goodie in the world. Um, but that's our day. Then we're going to put the handles on and then we're going to float this. And then I have to do art for above here. Okay guys, I came home from the grocery store and Wiener had finished that up. I, I have the most, I have the smartest dog in all the world. His brain is huge. Can't you tell? Anyway, so this is dry. I actually didn't do the last coats. Babe did. Sorry, it wasn't Wiener. I lied to you before. It was Babe. She did a great job, but I said, I love this brush. Clean it when you're done. And she said, I'm going to leave it here for three hours. <laughs> And that's what she did. What do you have to say for yourself? Um, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna spray it with, we just got back from Sam's Club, now you know. This lacquer, because something that I should do is use a top coat, which I never do. So today I'm using a spray lacquer. You can always get a Minwax um, um, sealant, but um, I just had this around and I don't believe in buying new things before I use my old things. Cause I had this period of time where I was just like buying new paint after new paint, yet I have all this paint right here. All that to say, that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get all the handles right on all the doors. So I watched this old guy online, and it, honestly, the older the man is online, the better information he has. Um, but first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure just like the height of these doors from the floor, because um, from the floor is a little bit more consistent than like me holding it somewhere. Then I'm going to subtract the size of the handles and then figure out how many inches from the top and bottom it needs to be. After that, I'm gonna use a spare piece of wood to measure in the space till here so that I can lay it over top of it um, and use it kind of as a guide. I'll drill holes in this and I'll just drill through the same holes in this every single time to make sure that things are perfectly aligned. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Uh, I'm not gonna talk during it because I literally can't multitask enough to explain to you what I'm doing and do it. So that's why I did it before. Hey guys, so today we are tackling this space here. This is where that console that I built on Instagram went, um, but I want something more dramatic. This space is super empty. Let's walk over here so you can see it better. So this is the space that we're working with. To the right is the mirror and my artwork, and then to the left there isn't much of anything because that's where our security system goes. Um, and I wanna keep that there. So today we are going to tackle this space and figure out what to do there. So. I live in Pittsburgh, as you know, and there's this really cool shop. I think it might have actually closed down, but it was just a nice uh, architectural salvage store called Salvaged, and I found this beautiful frame there for $65 about a year back. I had one painting in it, but my grandma wanted the painting back. All she does is give me stuff and take it back. <laughs> um, but I gave it back to her, so I have this really cool frame. So my thought was to actually paint it so that either it matches the gold mirror over there or so that it's black, because it'll be a statement. So step one is to find some black paint. So this is my home decor closet. Um, it's always messy. This is honestly one of its good days, but this is my, not my home decor, this is my craft closet. I also have a home decor closet, which you've never seen before, but this is all of my paint. So what I'm thinking is, I don't think I want to do gold. I think I want to do black. So I'm just going to grab this black liquid acrylic paint. Um, it's from Hobby Lobby, but it's always on sale. It won't focus because it's so dark in there. Um, again, wouldn't encourage you to buy paint from Hobby Lobby because we do not support their beliefs. Um, so now I actually buy all my paint from Blick and Michaels, but I also have stuff linked on my Amazon storefront, but I'm just going to try this out using a sponge. And if you look in here, you can see 
all the different tools I use to paint. I think I'm going to go in with a sponge like this just to dab it on and see what it looks like because obviously it's going to be a lot of effort, but I want to see if I can get into all those grooves. can't sit on me right now, maybe later, perhaps later, maybe, okay, maybe later, <laughs> maybe later. Come here, come here, come here. Okay guys, so this is the frame. And the canvas we for canvas we actually use the drop cloth that we use to paint the uh, cabinet it's all about uh recycling okay so now we're tackling the art here i finally got some modeling place i paste i usually use spackle but it was on sale at blick so i thought i'd try it i've never used it before but we're going to use it to create some texture we're going to keep it white though just because like we like white art especially since we have such a dark frame and i'm just doing this with these spoons that i actually got from the Dollar Tree, and we're doing it on the island. Hopefully it doesn't leak through, but if so, I'll just wipe it up. That's the beauty of, um, I, it's not the beauty of anything. I'm just talking, but we will get back together once I'm ready to etch in my design. Okay, so this is the painting that we did today. Babe helped, I'm gonna give her the credit where the credit is due. I tried to sign it, but I didn't do a very good job. So I'll sign it tomorrow. Um, but obviously I'm gonna show it to you all styled and everything, but I wanted to show you this picture light. This light is from Restoration Hardware. I got it at the outlet when we were in Baltimore, and I wanted to use it on that big painting over there, but we just could not get up high enough in the ceiling, because that's literally like 16 feet. I love the picture light. It is the perfect size for this painting. Um, and the light is very good. I feel like you can really see all the texture like this right here. I'm obsessed with that. Um, but something really stupid about it is like the um, trigger to turn it on is up here instead of down there. So I have to, I had to like stick my entire body behind the painting to get it, um, which doesn't make any sense. So I'm just gonna unplug it down there. But I wanted to show you this. Obviously I'm gonna give you a reveal with all the styling, but wanted to show you with the light on. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna give you a little walkthrough of all of the decor that I use. So I got this cute little marble box from Home Goods, of course. Then the vessel on the left is actually from Ikea, and the one on the right is from Crate and Barrel. It's part of the Leanne Ford collection, and I wanted to add some greenery. Of course, not real greenery, because I can't just go around clipping other people's front yards over here in Pittsburgh, because everybody's always outside, which I love about Pittsburgh, but then you can't take branches off the side of the road. But I got these faux branches from Crate and Barrel as well. I just staggered them in height, and I obviously have some paper in there to do that. You know, I never shy away from the opportunity to reuse some paper that's what I did on this side I wanted things of different heights and different colors I wanted to add some earthy colors in the middle I just put two coffee table books exceptional homes and Robert Stillen interiors these are books that I actually open and, and I wanted a little pop of white because everything down here is so dark and now we could stop for a second and actually look at the cupboards um, I love the stain. This is three coats of Minwax True Black Stain, and the handles are actually from Ikea. Um, I, I really love them. You can see a little bit of the wood grain, but not a lot. And then at the end, I added this beautiful sculpture that everyone is raving about from TJ Maxx right now. I love it. I'm thinking about spray painting it, but for now, it's staying that color. 
Next, I'm gonna show you my artwork. So again, I bought this frame somewhere else. I painted it black just using black acrylic paint. And then I made this art over here. There is tons and tons of texture. I wish that I'd use a matte paint, but I'm still happy with it. You can't see the white as well with the camera right now because I have the ISO up so that you can actually like see me because it is as dark as I don't know what in my house. Sorry, babe just texted me. But I'm trying to zoom in and show you. And then at the top, we have that picture light from Restoration Hardware. I really like it. I'm really happy with it. I'm upset that it couldn't go over there, but I'm happy with it here. And now I'm just going to step back and kind of give you a look at the space. Originally, our idea was to float these shelves, but I actually really like the height because it's the same height as our new dining table, which of course I'm not going to show you yet. <laughs> You'll have to subscribe and keep watching my videos to see that, which will be coming out sometime next week. Okay, guys, that is it. I will link everything that I possibly can down below. And if it's not down below in its individual link, it will be on my Amazon storefront. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you did like it, please remember to like this video, comment, and share this video with other people because that helps support my channel. But until next time, have a beautiful day and thanks for watching.